Hello everybody, just wanted to show you what I've been up to. This is a quick how-to on how to be able to remove your truck bed cap yourself. I picked this cap up for free, I believe it was Craigslist. Right now just held on with some C-clamps, uh, needs a little bit of work, broken screens, etc. Um, I did take the doors out already, you can see those down here, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you how I remove this cap myself without help. So the first thing that we do is go ahead and construct a few I-beams. Essentially we're going to build big saw horses and those are going to allow us to sit them on the side of the truck, lift the cap, slide boards underneath, and then be able to drive out from underneath it. Um, I have an 8-foot bed, so I used 8-foot 2x4s and left them full length because of the bed length. So just go ahead and center your top board on there, drive a couple of screws uh, first on one end and then center it and repeat that process on the other side and then just pop in a few more screws um, along the length of it. Once you're done with that, then we're going to go ahead and flip it over, do the other side and build one more I-beam so you have one for each side. I am using two and a half inch exterior screws in case anybody was wondering. The next thing we have to do is determine the length of our legs. So we just take two by four, set them at the approximate angle and go ahead and mark where you think they're going to fall on your I-beam. I left mine a little bit too high. I would do them lower next time, but I wanted to leave enough space for uneven ground and to be able to slide my boards from one horse to the other in order to lift the cap so I could drive out from underneath it. So I'll take that off to the side and make your measurements so that you can repeat the length when you cut each of the eight legs. Now we're going to screw the legs to the I-beams, again using two and a half inch exterior screws. Fairly simple, just butt the leg, the top of the leg up against the bottom of one of the I-beams and it rests on the other, which sets the angle for the legs for you. Now we're going to create some cross braces for the bottom since the legs are so long they're awfully unstable um, I want them to be strong enough to hold a few hundred pounds. So I just take the scraps from the ends of the legs that I cut off and basically place them on there so that way they're as far down as possible um, without being too short. So we do that, make our marks and then we are going to set them back up there and um, screw them in to add some strength to the legs so they're not as wobbly. I always start my screws whenever I have to hang a board. It's a lot easier um, to drive the screws after they're already started when you need to hold up both sides and you don't really have any help. So I also had to make a few adjustments uh, because I started my screws too far out and I would have missed the legs. So. We just take a measurement to make sure that where the screws start is where they'll fall on the legs, if that makes any sense.
I also went ahead and added a couple screws up top uh, from the top of the I-beams down into each one of the legs to tie it together a little bit better. Alright everybody, hopefully everybody can see me fine. We're using some new GoPro hardware. I just wanted to take a second and do a quick update on the truck cap project. Um, I didn't I didn't get to film the part where I popped the cap up and slid the two buys out. Um, basically the last thing I think you saw was the horses were built and on the side of the truck. Well in between that, what we do is I get inside and I built the T to lift the cap up and then you slide a board across um, and it will hold that side up and then you do, you know, then you do the other side of the cap. Um, I do, well, I can show you here. So basically what I use is I have this big wooden T that I made and we prop it up on top of that six by six. So we'll put the wooden T up like this and put the foot of it on the six by six and as you push it push it in it will raise the cap up off of the um off of, off of the horse and then you can slide your board across um i do the back side first or however you have to do it so that way it's always leaning toward the cap of the truck so if it slides it'll hit the front of the cap and it will stop so if you do it the other way and she slides off the boards, you're going to have a fiberglass, you know, cap that weighs a couple hundred pounds that could slide off and hit the ground. But anyways, here's the current situation. Um, so we've got the cap on. I made some repairs. I didn't video that. Everybody's seen body work before, but it's a pretty, it's a free cap, you know, it's cheapy. So we uh, just did some, some primering. And a little bit of Bondo to fix some cracks. Put a garage door weather stripping in there. Um, got it lined up the best that I could. And then we set it back down. Set it back down on the bed. So also there were some ripped screens in there. We cleaned the windows. So everything is should be watertight and functioning. I had a lot of work to do today. But I don't know, you probably can't see it right now. But. It's starting to rain. We're supposed to get thunderstorms, so I won't be able to um, continue on the project today. So that's basically it. That's how I removed the cap myself, um, you know, without having the aid of another person. So um, for now, we have these C clamps on here. So all I'll have to do is undo my C clamps back in between the horses again, um, and then you know, put our T in, raise it up, slide the board across and then drive the truck out. I can do that all by my lonesome. Um, on the next phase of the project, um, I picked up some, basically some drawer frames for medical equipment that have aluminum uh, stock, you know, uh, legs and um, drawer slides. So those are pretty cool. So those will be going in here next and we'll start construction of the bed soon. So we'll see you soon.